Here we go. This game is not suitable for children. Okay. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Daniel Espira and today, well today we are playing Doki Doki Literature. Um, and uh, I've been hearing a lot about this game. This game is supposed to be some kind of crazy, crazy not what it's, uh, what it appears to be kind of game. Uh, but it just looks like a whole bunch of anime girls. So, let's, uh, let's... Well, my name is Daniel. Er, no. What is my name? My name is going to be, well, it's that... Crank, of course. That Crank. Let's see. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally, obviously, wait, what? Like she's totally, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might be drawing to herself. Okay, can we auto it? That girl is Shiori, my neighborhood uh, good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend that you've never seen your yourself making today, but it's just the kind of thing that works uh, works out because you've known each other for so long. Come on, man, auto it. Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would uh, get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Auto it. However, I just sigh and I uh, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Wah, wah. <laughs> what? Okay, I overslept again. Sayori, I'm gonna need you to stop oversleeping. Okay, but I caught up this time. Okay, maybe, uh, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Tuh. Uh, yeah, you say like you were thinking about ignoring me. Um, well, yeah, if you do it every single day. Like, I'm trying to get to school on time, you know what I'm saying, man? Okay, that means... Wait, that's mean, that crank. Hey, that's me, that crank. <laughs> well, it's okay. Uh, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, and then I don't want them to think you're a couple or something. Oh, okay, they don't want to. Fine, fine, okay. Uh, but you didn't wait for me after all. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to... I guess you don't have it in you to leave it... To what? To be mean even if you wanted to. Okay, I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you wanted to. Okay. Okay. Uh, whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> uh, we crossed the street together, making our way to school. Uh, as we drew near, the street became increasingly sparkled with, uh, wait, sparkled? Yeah, sparkled with other students making their daily commute. Uh, by the way, that crank, <laughs> have you decided on a club you want to join yet? Uh, a club? Um, I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you were going to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible I did at one point or another in our conversation, but when I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about, that's usually what I end up doing, just go on about it. Dory likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly con content uh, just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. Okay, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Uh, your happiness is really important. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Uh, and I... Wait, and I know you're... And I know you're happy now, but I... Wait, but I die at the thought of, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Uh, you must trust me, right? Something like that. Uh, 
Don't make me keep worrying about you. Okay, Siri, I'm gonna need you to stop worrying about me. All right, all right. Okay, I'll look into a few clubs. I'll make it, uh, if that makes you happy, okay? Uh, no promises, though, okay? I'm not promising anything to you. Uh, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. There we go. Yay! All right, she's excited. Sayori, uh, why don't you let yourself get, uh, lectured by... Why don't you let yourself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Wait, what? Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Okay, there we go. Uh, more than that, I'm surprised. I even let myself relent to her. Uh, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want her... I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she doesn't ex... Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay, here we go. We made it to school finally. Alright, let's see here. Uh, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and uh, it is uh, extraordinary as ever, and it's over before I knew it. Okay, after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs, that's right, I needed to do that. So they already wanted me to check out some clubs, because I have no choice than to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori, oh, fancy meeting you here. Sayori must have uh, come into the classroom when I was uh, speaking out. Uh, I looked around and realized that the only one left in the classroom, that I was uh, the only one left in the, I thought I'd catch up uh, in the classroom. Oh, shoot, I skipped that. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Um, I think that's what it said. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of like reading through this. Uh, you don't need to wait up for me if you're going to be late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, uh, so I... something, you know? Uh, well, you could come to my club, Sayori, yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club, girl. Hey, me, hey, girl, I can't chill with you at the club, okay? Sayori is vice president of the literature club, okay, not sponsored. I totally skipped that, okay. Uh, not that I was uh, even aware she had an interest in literature. Not that I was even aware she was interested in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Okay. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, uh, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, anime club. Come on, please. No, I'm not going with you. Uh, why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told you. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. Oh, what? What? And the syrup made cupcakes and everything. Oh, okay. So you already uh, you already enrolled me into this club. Okay. I see how things are going. Uh, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell us. Uh, I can. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an uh, airhead. Uh, if she's so cunning, cunning to have planned something like this. Okay, I let uh, strong side. Fine. I stop by. Get the cupcakes. Okay. Yay! Let's go. Let's go to the literature club. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for cupcake. Okay. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Okay, everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glanced around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. Crub. Uh, welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. And this one is Girl One. Uh, Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, okay. Sayori, you seriously are 
Or seriously, you brought a boy? Uh, way to kill the atmosphere. This is girl too. Okay. Ah, uh, that crank. Well, what a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Blank. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? Um, if you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki? Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, uh, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Uh, her s what? Her small figure, her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year? Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Like, probably j Japanese school years or something? First year? So maybe like first year high school or something? Okay. Uh, she is also one, the one who made the cupcakes according to Sayori. Okay. Sayori. Uh, you can't just ignore her while she's getting moody. Oh, you can just. Okay. Sayori want. Sayori says that... Sayori says quietly into her ears, then turns back towards the other girls. Okay. Okay, anyway, that's Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Which one's Yuri? Why does she just like... <clears throat> Don't say things like that. Yuri appears com... What? Com okay. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, nice to meet you both of you. Nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know... Monica? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, that crank. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. Well, well, we rarely talk, but we were, but we were in the same class in the last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. But I am that crank. Uh, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Egger. I got you, Monica. Okay. Okay. Uh, come sit down, that crank. Uh, we made uh, we made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and Monica. Me or Monica? Hmm. Decisions now. I'll get you cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Okay, you can get them. Whoever. Sorry, I got a little too excited. I'm gonna need all you guys to calm down. Okay. Uh, then how about I make some tea as well? Yeah, you can make some tea. You get the tea. You get the cupcakes. You. You can figure something out. Uh, the girls have a few desk arrangements to form a table. Okay, as I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corners of the room where Natsuki grabs and wraps tray and Yuri opens the closet. Uh, still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably uh, marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ta-da! Ooh, wa 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 wee wa wa Natsuki lifted the foil off the tray and revealed a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decored to look like little cats. Okay, uh, the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, look at that teeth. Look at that tooth. 
Uh, just hurry to take one. Uh, so here he grabs the first, then Monica, I follow. Uh, it's delicious! Mmm, delicious cupcakes! Uh, Sayori talks, uh, wait, walks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing all over her face. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I turn to the cupcake, I turn the cupcake around on. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers. Well, okay, so she's turning it around in her fingers, uh, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Oh, okay, that's what she's doing. Okay, Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances at my direction. Oh, okay, so you you want to take a look? Okay. Okay. Take a look. We can do homework and stuff. Um, is she waiting for me to take a bite? Oh, she's waiting for me. She's just like, she's just looking at me and I'm like... I don't know. She just want to make sure that, uh, that that her cupcake is delicious, you know what I'm saying, mate. Like, uh, finally, bite down. Okay, the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Ho <laughs> ho! Uh, that's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or something? Well, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. Oh, girl, you wanted to make me some cupcakes, okay. Uh, well, well not, for, not for you, you know? You dummy or something like that? All right, all right, calm down, girl. Uh, I'll give up, uh, I give up on Atsuki's weird logic and uh, dismiss the conversation. Just whatever, girl. Uh, Yuri turns to the table carrying the tea she made. Um, she carefully places the tea in front of each of us uh, before sitting down in the teapot and uh, next to the cupcakes in the tray. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> you keep a whole tea set in the classroom, uh, don't you? Oh, <laughs> don't you keep some freaking tea bags in the classroom? Uh, don't worry, the teacher gave us permission to keep tea in the thing. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. Well, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Hey, that's not... Uh, insulted Yuri looks... Uh, look, insulted Yuri looks away. Oh, uh, don't look away, insulted Yuri. Don't look away, insulted Yuri. I shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. What am I doing? Okay. I mean, you know. She's cool though. Well, tea and reading might be uh, the best time for me. Uh, uh, best at the tea. Okay. So she turned away shyly because she d didn't want to make me some tea. Well, tea and reading might not be a best pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad you enjoy tea, she said. Uh, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief, like, oh, you know what? He's cool. And Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Hey, Monica. Uh, so what made you consider Literature Club? Well, I can give you plenty of answers, but you're only gonna need one. Um, uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tell Monica that it was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined the club yet. Sayori seemed really... Uh, I'm here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, as president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun, exciting for everyone. Well, Monica, thank you. Monica is surprised. Okay, how come, how come you decided to start your own club? <clears throat> you could probably be a, a board member of any of major clubs. Weren't you a leader of one of the debate clubs last year? Uh, well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all those politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing... It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public... Publi publicity... Uh, the publicity and how to uh, prepare for events. 
I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy making something special out of. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's really great leader. She's a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Everybody likes Monica. Then that crank says, that's me. Uh, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Uh, it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it, you could put it that way. Uh, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in, in pulling, in putting out all the efforts to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Okay, uh, you have to work hard to convince people that you that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes well, I mean, reading is worth worthwhile. Okay, but it makes school events like the festival uh, that more and more important. Uh, I'm confident that that we can. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Okay, um, thought I still don't, wait, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So that crank, uh, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, I like to read, you know, well, um, let's see here, I like to read, uh, uh, about electronics, uh, I like to read about how to fix things and, and stuff how to, you know, do mods and, and things and, and computer hardware and stuff. That's the, that's the kind of literature I like. Well, considering how little I've read and... Oh, no, this is still me. Okay, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have anything manga. I mutter quietly to myself. I took your head and sort of perked up. What? It looked like she wants to say something, but she's keeping quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Okay, so that was me. That was me. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her. Oh shoot! <clears throat> traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that are a build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Uh, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are amazing to me. Uh, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is especially or impressive or something. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about what she reads. Uh, she seems so. Re Reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that it's obvious by the way her eyes light up when she finds her comfort that she can just talk to people. Uh, but you know, I like uh, things too. I like other things. Stories, the deep psychological psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do can? can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Okay. Uh, any- Oh, okay, okay. So throwing hints, okay? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. And I read a lot of horror once, uh... I desperately gasp something, grasp something I can relate to in, in minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I would have... Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if you... But if a story takes me... But if a story makes me think, or... 
takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down, you know? Uh, surreal horror is, is a blah 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 very um, successful to changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? Uh, you left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. Hey, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just cute. As you. Sayori Sile is behind Adetsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute. Yeah, you're cute. Natsuki, uh, you write your own poems. Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Oh, why do you share them? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. Uh, you wouldn't like them. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Um, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to Babadi Bipa. Do you have written experience to your? Maybe share some work stories and examples and uh, comfort enough to share them. Uh, blank face. I guess it's not the same for Yuri, or it's the same for- Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. Well, I'll sit silent for a moment. Okay. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark. Masuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write poems of our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, we can do some stuff. And literature club, isn't that right, that crank? That's right. Uh, Monica smiles. Wait, Mo where's Monica? Monica warms slowly at once. Hold on, there's still one problem. Ah, what's that? Uh, now that we're back on the original topic of joining the club, I bluntly come forward with the mind and tar blah blah blah. I never said I would join the club. Sayori may have convinced me to come stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with uh, dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, that crank. <laughs> that crank you, you all I'm defenseless against these girls Okay How am I supposed to uh, Make a clear headed decision when it's like this You know what I'm saying man? Um What is Wait that is, if writing poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. <laughs> I'll join the literature club! <laughs> one by one, the girls' eyes lit up. Yeah, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. That makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with... Okay, everyone. I think with that, I can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me for... Wait, one... Monica looks over at me once more. 
Now, Crank, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. I want to look forward to how you express yourself too, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, can I really exp uh, express the class star? Oh, can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? Uh, I already... Stop it, phone. Uh, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside. Meanwhile, the girls continue the, uh, to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up the food. Hey, that crank. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Oh! Oh, no, this is that one girl. Okay. Uh, that's right, Sayori. I never uh, walk home. We never walk home together anymore because I always stayed after school for clubs. Okay, sure. Might as well, right? Yay! Uh, with that, uh, the two of us departed the classroom, made our way home. Uh, a while away, uh, my mind wandered back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in literature club? Well, I think that is a question for the next video. All right, guys. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue it here, but let's see if we can, oh, we can save it here. Okay, so yeah, so we can save. Uh, it is saved. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off here. Um, there's something hidden uh, behind this game, but we're gonna have to cut this one off here uh, to continue on later on. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy Doki Doki Literature Club, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.